Entering atmosphere, LZ in sight. Reports didn't do this world justice. It's ethereal. Director Addison? No personal appearance? It might have been an outpost. Thank you, but no. I prefer climate control to these extremes. Given the planet's significance to the Angara, it's appropriate that we assist, but not place an outpost. And the stability you brought? I received a thank you from Aya. That may be the first time I've heard those words in Andromeda. After the Ket and what they've seen of the Exiles, we had to be at our best. We've had precious few examples of that. Pathfinder might be getting close. Her Varal helps. Outpost or not, we're gaining. We need another, but we're gaining. It's promising, and a lot of people have noticed. And there's another matter, a ceremonial one. A statement for the Archives. Is this really the time? Pathfinder was always a symbol. Like outpost flags hanging in the commons, the people need a connection to reality on the ground. Address them, Pathfinder. What did this mean? This is Havarl. I didn't find an outpost. I found Angara, and saw a piece of who they are. We're welcome to help here. It's not ours. It's all of ours. I think that makes the whole cluster closer to home. Into the books, Pathfinder. At a snout. Ah, you'll be the Pathfinder then. Daughter McIntyre from the Nexus. Ryder, welcome to Havarl. She'll be more welcoming now that you put the vault back on track. The Angara invited us to monitor plant growth and study ruins out in the jungle. It's the chance of a lifetime. What does your team do here? Zera is our botanist. She'll be minding the plants and designing an artificial habitat for them. She also happens to be an engineer. Asari, one profession's never enough. Then there's young Farley. Easier for the insects. And you? I'm the xenoanthropologist. A fancy word for talking to the Angara about those ruins. And listening. I imagine you've spoken to Kieran Dahls already? She's the one who invited us, aye. Fussed over us, something terrible. But she's a fine lady, and hopefully a good colleague down the road. I plan to listen to her. Be careful around those monoliths. There might be more stasis fields. We think they only affect Angara, but who knows? Oh, we know. Make no mistake. I have a check-in system ready. Whether young Farley remembers it when he's chasing butterflies is another matter. You know how Tavos found the monolith, right? Reincarnated memories? Aye, I heard. One for the textbooks. You believe him? But you're a scientist. Asari share thoughts and memories. Prothean text speaks in visions. Those are scientific facts. There's more to people than what can go under a microscope, lad. Good luck, McIntyre. Safe journeys, Ryder. Pathfinder Ryder. Our people aren't causing you any trouble, are they? Not at all. They've been a big help, and Dr. McIntyre has been sharing wonderful stories about your galaxy. It's good to know that not all aliens are like the Ket. Jal said you worked for the Moshai? Not I, but many of the team that was sent to the monolith are her students. When we learned that Havarl's decline had something to do with the monoliths, we requested her help. She sent her best people here to help us with the remnant. 
I should get going. Stars be bright for you, Pathfinder Rider. Pathfinder Rider, Dr. Tsana Rilar, xenobotanist for the initiative, and my colleague, Dr. Eric Baumgarten. Xenogenetics. Pleasure to meet you. I can see why you're on Havarl. Plenty to keep you busy. Indeed. It can hardly walk without stepping on a new life form. Ugh, we tread lightly. Your report of accelerated evolution and rapid growth of nature here caught our interest. We're analyzing everything we can for clues to replicate the effects on our own crops. It would have interesting applications, if there's a way to control the process. Uh -huh. You understand the end goal. If we learn to enhance the growth of plants and animals in non-destructive ways, we could end hunger. It would change everything for the Initiative. Our colonies could thrive virtually overnight. Since you repaired the vault, things are returning to normal, but too quickly for us. The accelerated life forms you want to study are dying off, decaying. We're scrambling to scan and catalog everything before it's gone. We could use some help. Point me at the life forms you need. I'll do the rest. Anything mutated beyond its baseline growth cycle will aid our work. I'll provide the most promising genetic markers to scan for. Thank you for whatever help you can provide, Pathfinder. Rendezvous here when you're finished. Locked. I'll override it. Don't come any closer! Oh dear. We're here to help. Don't touch me. I just want to help. Your wounds, they're self-inflicted? They can't. I can't go back. I won't. Oh. Hush now, sister. The cat are dead. They can't take you. We won't let them. You sound like him. So confident. So sure. You mean Axel? He saved me. Gave me a chance to live. And die on my own terms. We need to find him, Thoria. Ishare, brave one. Even in the end, she was devoted to him. And Axul's using that devotion to spread hate. The only other person who could reach him is the Moshai. Another reason to rescue her. Come on, let's go.
Let's get him. weapons. They had research tech, data pads. Let's find out why. The Rokar were studying mutant wildlife too. They want to use it against us. The data pad mentions a camp. Updating known data. Mission parameters changing. Sam, what do you get from this? Analyzing. The Rokar took special interest in mutations that would poison a natural environment. They wouldn't use that on our worlds. What are your instructions for this data, Pathfinder? Download a copy, then erase the Rokar computer. Acknowledged. Copy incomplete. Erasure of Rokar files complete. Let's wrap things up and get back to our researchers. What have you brought us, Pathfinder? I got jumped by Rokar. They were researching harmful mutations, hoping to use them against us. I hope you put an end to their work. Do you have any of their data? May we see it? I copied the files before I erased the Rokar computer. I'll transmit everything. If nothing else, it may help us defend against future attacks. I scanned all the mutated wildlife I could find. I hope it helps your research. 
We're going to be overwhelmingly busy, aren't we? Thank you for everything, Pathfinder. We'll get to work. Leaving Avaral. Bridge is yours, Pathfinder. I got a copy of the Nexus's movie library. Thanks. I'll look through it. It's probably all agricultural learning vids, but there might be something good. I'll keep you posted. Oops. Looks like our Pijak friend got out of his cage. He'll be fine. Won't he? The exercise will probably do him good. And you're sure you haven't seen it? Your remnant scrap is your business. Do it yourself. Joel will help me find it, won't you, Joel? If I can borrow it for a sketch, consider it found. You've been at this longer than any of us have. So between you and me, what do you think of our chances? Our chances for what? Surviving. It'll be okay. Yeah, all right. Thanks, old man. Liam, I signed off on that... project. That's great, Pathfinder. Jala Maldorov, we got our gear. Costa, Ryder. Oh, Bite. What's with the gun show? We're swapping armor, not weapons. Don't let him tease you. I explained the reference. You ready to go? Go. Right. The pattern on your pauldron? Family honorific. Can I wear the poncho? It's a rofshin. And no. Why? Is it religious? Wait. What? It's personal. You're not allowed. Because of status or species? Maybe it's both. Mm, do all humans look alike? Some of you sound alike. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought this was about armor. Are you deliberately trying to offend Jal? Um, of course he is. That's the point. Asking stuff diplomats leave out. Armor for answers. I, my turn was earlier. Nexus info packets leave a lot out. I am sorry. Was this not sanctioned? Yeah, you weaseling Adi. Nevertheless, Ryder? I hope you know what you're doing. I don't need the Nexus breathing down my neck. Relax. Jal won't complain to HR or whatever Tan thinks we report to. We were joking around and realized we didn't know how to insult each other. Or how not to. Some things are so ingrained they're invisible. We didn't even know the warning signs, so we got it over with. Now we won't do it accidentally. Like when we're trying to negotiate an outpost. Enough of his people want to shoot us now. Okay, I kind of get the intent. No harm, no foul? <laughs> if Jar was offended, I'd be on the floor. I'll take that kind of honest any day. We have a lot to learn, that's part of what our team is for. <laughs> Better now than when people's lives are on the line. Hi there. Did you come out here with anyone? Maybe someone you served with? I had my fun on shore leave. Nothing serious, though. Asari huntresses figure things out, but I was there for soldiering, not romance. You're not technically military anymore. Can't get anything past you, can I? Any more commando war stories? We once infiltrated a dangerous cult by posing as new initiates. Belenza hated it. She was... Like our padre, the cult, that perversion of faith, really upset her. How did you stop them? Nasira pretended that Valenza needed to be purified of evil. She was given a private audience with the cult leader. Valenza shot her and then prayed for her. See you later, Cora. I'll be here.
The Angara were super curious about the ship. A few were pretty bold. Asked me questions. What do you make of them? They know their shit. Quick-minded, sharp. They'll make good allies. Regale me with some poker wisdom. <laughs> well, bluffing and reading players aside, poker is all about math. If the odds of getting the card you need are greater than the bet, make the bet. How's your friend Jill doing? Good. Busy. Apparently, prepping multiple species for procreation is a lot of work. Who knew? Waiting to get it all started was killing her. Now she's being shot out of a cannon, so to speak. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Take her down, Kalo. We designated this planet Habitat 6. Original readings suggest that it had a breathable, nitrogen-rich atmosphere and oceans of H2O. I take it that's no longer the case. All H2O in Habitat 6 vold to the Angarai is ice. And those oceans frozen over completely. Oh, there goes the dream of a seaside property. It's a pretty intense blizzard. LZ is on the windward side of the mountain. Conditions are bad. I'm tracking gale force squalls. to get out and push? Very funny, Ryder. when we arrive. I'm reading a severe temperature drop. Temperature range, Pathfinder. But I love you, Hera. I know. Who knows how much time we have? I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Hey there, Explorer. This'll work. The first time you switch it on, 
the whole thing's going to blow. I hear you have a very impressive vehicle, yes? We call it the Nomad. I'm an amateur mechanic myself. Build vehicles for my people. Upload this schematic for your mechanic, with my compliments. They can upgrade your vehicle's shielding once you find the needed components. He lives for this shit. It will make his day. My long-lost brother. <laughs> you can find some of what you need here on Vold. The rest, out and about. Good to see you again, Commander Dozio. And you, Jal. You must be Ryder. Jal told us what you did for Kirin's team on Haval. I'm Anyik Dozil, commander of this encampment. You're welcome here as an ally of the Angara. I appreciate the warm welcome. It's a joke. To break the ice? Get it? Warm welcome? Ice? Ryder? No. Probably a translation thing. Perhaps. Strange jokes aside, I hope you will join our fight against the Ket. We could certainly use the help. We've held the Ket at bay, but have been unable to deal a decisive blow. The longer things drag on, the greater our disadvantage. If your current approach isn't working, we'll need to find another one. Our main problem is a lack of fighters. If you want to know where you can make a difference, go to the post that overlooks the valley. Nothing happens on Vold without our lookouts knowing about it. Before you go, is there anything else I can help you with? How are you holding up against the cat? It hasn't been easy. We've had our victories, but we're a small force. Too small. Didn't Ephra send recruits? Most of them are young, untrained. If we want to beat the cat, we need medics, technicians, and skilled fighters. Then Ryder and I will help. We will? If the commander needs recruits, we'll find them. I'm an outsider. How could I convince anyone to join your resistance? You may be an outsider, but Jarl is an experienced soldier with unmatched passion. He's inspired the will to fight in so many of us. Jarl's right. We can find the people you need. I'd be happy to take anyone you send my way. You have my gratitude, both of you. How long has the resistance been around? Nearly as long as the Ket. With our military destroyed, civilians took the fight into their own hands. They formed the Resistance as a final effort to retake our home. It seems to be working. Only since Ephra took over. His tactics gave us the push we needed against the Ket. But even now, we're a long way from winning. I've met Ephra. He's... interesting. He's never been good at first impressions. He can be stern, but he's exactly what the Resistance needs. Ephra took a scattered band of civilian fighters and molded them into an effective army. What success we've had against the Ket is entirely due to his leadership. Most people seem to really respect him. Because he would do anything for his people, he inspires the same in us. We may not always agree with Ephra, but we'd follow him to the end of the stars. That's it for now. I'll be here if you have any questions. Approaching. Hope they give me a patrol soon. You think I'll see any cat? Not likely. They don't venture this close to the camp. From this room, we keep track of our brothers and sisters in the field. You don't win a war without good organization. An impressive surveillance system. Looks like supplies aren't getting through to the Resistance. Olisk is in charge of requisitions. We should speak with him. I'll find her. Something I can do for you? You the requisitions officer? I hear you're having supply issues. Of course not. I don't know what you've heard, but everything is running fine. I saw the messages sent to you. What are you hiding? 
Keep your voice down. I need to keep this news contained. No one knows the shipments have stopped. If word gets around, we'll have a serious morale drop. I need to investigate this quietly. You have any leads? Not much. The supplies make it planet side, but never reach the base. The obvious answer is the Kent. Sabotage is their style. We changed our drop point, but no luck. I can't send someone to investigate without word getting around. I guess there's no avoiding it eventually. I can take a look at the drop point. That way no one will panic. I can't sanction an official search, but I also can't stop you from investigating on your own. The nav point for the last drop location is in my personal console. You seem to be adept at decryption, so I'll let you figure out the rest. If you need patching up, you'll have to wait. A patrol just came through and I need to see to them. Is it just you here? Volunteer medics are hard to come by, especially ones who can handle Vold. It's actually warm in here. Those heaters work pretty well. We don't use them for heat. They generate artificial sun, so we don't go dark. What do you mean, go dark? Right, I suppose you wouldn't know about that. Our bodies generate energy from sunlight. If we don't get enough, our immune systems weaken and our bioenergy slows. We go dark. It can't be easy living in a place like this. Between the cold and the lack of sun, it's tough to keep morale up. Most of us come from Aya or Haval, so it's a big adjustment. Immunity drops, people get sick. But if the civilians in the settlements can live here without complaint, so can we. I'll come back if I need anything. I'll be here. Yes, what is it? You're that alien they've been talking about on comms, aren't you? Why are you standing here? Don't you have more important places to be? I'm Pathfinder Ryder with the Andromeda Initiative. From... Wonderful. You're from far away. Do they have magical healing where you're from? Nothing more advanced than what you have. Then where you're from is useless to me right now. Stand over there. Dr. Harim, maybe Ryder can help us with the emergency caches. Emergency caches? This is a war zone. Ked attacks are always a risk. Wounded. There's probably a cache of emergency medical supplies nearby. No substitute for real medical attention, but you'll survive long enough to reach it. Problem is the caches are empty right now. We're strained and no one's been out there to replenish supplies. There's no time to waste. I'll help with whatever you need. Supply crates are stacked by the wall over there. Directions to the caches are with them. You have a vehicle? Of course. Good. Get going. Jarl, have you come back to us? Briefly. And these must be the strangers I've heard so much about. You know, if not for Jarl, I might kill you. <laughs> this is my friend, Mace. She helps supply the resistance. That must be difficult out here. Jarl's the brave one. How do you get supplies with the cat everywhere? The same way we came. There are caves and hidden paths all over. It's hard to fly in, so my children run most items through the caves, little by little. Children? Their size makes it hard for the cat to detect. We all do what we can out here, even children. Are you selling anything we could use? I have almost nothing left. What I do have, we need if we're going to stand any chance against the cat. Maybe if you clear that Ket station on the south road, I'd be able to bring in more and spare something for you. How do you feel about Ephra? Some speak ill of the man, but his plan is bold and the resistance is important. I'll do what I can to help until I can't help anymore. Good luck and stay safe. Just make sure you return Jarl to us. Welcome. You are the Pathfinder, yes? 
I am Rochua Lin. What are these symbols on the wall? My people worship here, in private. And I give the blessings. Would you like one? I'm a bit of a stranger to your faith. A stranger in all things, perhaps. The blessing is offered with simple goodwill. Why don't you practice religion in public? Those who are slaves to the Ket are forbidden to express their spiritual beliefs. We honor their isolation by practicing privately. Faith is also strongest when no one sees it. It would be an honor. I give you strength and courage, yet be clear your heart. How do you become a priestess? With great hardship. Only those who know darkness can lead others to light. I speak weakly words for those who seek them. They take my words to their families, so that they all find the strength I once longed for. What do you believe? In the never-ending growth of a soul that is reincarnated within a family. A righteous action in this life begets enlightenment in the next. And with that, is stronger than dynasty. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. Tempest, we're gonna need the Nomad. My position. Deploying forward station. Good luck, Ryder. Activating automated forward station deployment. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. <laughs> 